In today's video, I'm going to give you an honest review and explanation inside the Meta Database Engineer Professional Certificate offered on Coursera and ultimately answer the single question, is this actually worth it to enroll? We're gonna cover a lot in this video, but we'll really focus on three core things. First, what is inside this professional certificate? Second, what should you expect to get from this upon completion? And three, I have a ton of thoughts to share about the outcomes and if this is actually worth taking. So let's get right into it. Let's start really big picture here. What does a database engineer do? So businesses use databases for a million different things and they're really critical inside of all different types of industries. This could be keeping track of basic transactions, managing customer data, tracking inventory on products, etc. There are unlimited things that databases are used for. Now, someone has to build and manage the information coming in and understand how to work with databases. This is the essential job of the database engineer. They fill these mission critical positions inside of businesses. Data engineers use programming languages such as SQL, covered in courses three and four, and Python, which is covered in depth in course five, to create, manage, and optimize databases for businesses. Now, if you wanna become a data engineer, well, you're in luck. Remember how I just said that these were mission critical jobs inside of businesses? Well, the market data reflects that. A study from Dice Tech Report called Data Engineer the single fastest growing tech position in the United States. And the salary numbers now reflect that. When you become a data engineer, even in relatively early career pay, you can expect to make, according to Glassdoor, around $115,000. Now Meta, on their own site, sources this figure for zero to five years of experience in this position at $130,000, and that's what they promote in their own course on Coursera. Either way, the career prospects are good. However, we have to get there and open those doors first. So let's dive deep into the certificate. First, the Data Engineer Professional Certificate is an all online course that you'll be able to do completely with the equipment of just a laptop from your home. You go through nine courses in the certificate, which we'll take a look at in the next section. Now, Meta created this as a beginner progressively advancing certificate, meaning that with really no technical knowledge, you should be able to theoretically finish this course. Now, if you do come in with no beginner knowledge, expect the course to take about six months studying part-time, maybe six to eight hours a week of progress working on it to finish. If you're advanced or you're really dedicated to finishing this course, Realistically, you'll probably finish in about two to four months. It does benefit you to finish quicker because Coursera bills at $49 a month for the course that you're taking. So no matter how long you go, you'll always be incurring those charges. However, I do have a link in the description of this video that you can check out that will give you a seven day free trial so you can scope the course and begin to audit it for yourself if you think this is the right fit for you. Now entering this course, you're going to come in and learn a few big picture topics. Some of these are things like creating databases from scratch, getting proficient with the SQL syntax and understanding how it works in a database environment, writing data-driven applications in Python and understanding how to connect them to my SQL applications, and you'll develop an advanced working knowledge of data modeling concepts. Now these are big important things, but the course will walk you through step by step. At the end of this, you'll get a few different specific learning outcomes that I think are important to know too. You'll walk away with a shareable certificate that you can post on LinkedIn showing you've taken and achieved the standards in the course. You'll also get access to a job board with at least 200 companies that have given priority hiring towards meta certificate graduates. And maybe the biggest things that you'll take away are portfolio ready projects that you can show what you've learned and the ability to say that you've specifically completed this certificate. 
Now let's briefly go through what's inside each of these nine courses. Course one is an introduction to databases. This is a big picture overview. We'll actually get to go through about a five minute video on what the day in the life of a data engineer is. And you'll learn about introductions to SQL and database design. Course two is called version control where you will learn the basics of how software engineers collaborate with each other in different places and different times. You'll go through this course and install Git and learn how to work with a local and remote repository. Now, pro tip, if this sounds familiar and you've taken the front end or back end development professional certificate from Meta, this exact course appears in those as well. Course three is database structures and management with MySQL. This is the first of two courses that deal specifically in SQL. Your goal in this first course will be to develop a working knowledge of MySQL. You should understand data creation, querying, and manipulation after you're done. That will prepare you for course four, which is a big one, which is essentially just your advanced concepts. Now, this is a more intermediate level course talking about really the same theory. You'll work through a hands-on project where you practice your newly learned SQL automation skills and you're challenged to write a stored procedure to help solve a real world problem that you're presented with. Now between three and four, it's a ton of time in MySQL, which you're gonna appreciate because this is such a core fundamental of becoming a data engineer. When you get through course four, you'll come into course five where you attack Python, which is another deep and very lengthy course inside this certificate. You'll see the different sides of Python, learn how to build coding in it, and you'll look at different errors and angles to attack those from different perspectives. In course six, which is called database clients, you'll work on a project that has you create a useful Python application capable of administering a MySQL database. Course seven is called advanced data modeling. In seven, you'll learn how to work on systematic data modeling processes while learning more about how to use a MySQL workbench. In course eight, you'll put it all together. You'll set up a database, use SQL to create virtual tables and stored procedures, and you'll create optimized queries to manage and analyze your data. By the time you get into course nine, it's all job preparation, interview prep, and you'll learn a few other topics loosely related to data engineering to kind of round out your knowledge base. So after going through these nine courses, is the Meta Database Engineer Professional Certificate actually worth it. Like I said, I have many thoughts on this, but I'll try to boil it down to just a few. My first point is Rome wasn't built in a day. Becoming a data engineer is a very, one, difficult, and two, technical profession. And like any profession similar, it requires a lot of time in the trenches working through these things, and that just takes hours and hours of time and experience to do well. It's got a very wide and deep depth of knowledge. You're going to have to know things like database management, multiple programming languages, distributed computing frameworks, cloud technology, ETL frameworks, stream processing frameworks, and so much more. Now, this can seem very intimidating, and I will tell you, you're not going to get to an expert level, obviously, by taking this course, but you will start to breach the surface of some of those most important concepts needed to become a data engineer. So where does this leave us? I think this tells us that you will get a start. And remember, that is important. Now two, if you're on the fence of this course, I believe you'll get your money's worth at just $49 a month. And there are opportunities for discounts and to apply for financial aid. Look around if those situations apply to you, you're going to get a good overview of the most important topics and that you'll have an understanding of how these things work by the end with a few real world projects under your belt. And you'll also get exposure to 200 plus potential opportunities to start your career. This will put you on the right foot forward in the right mindset to land your first successful opportunity. If you got any questions on the course, please let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching.